disarm someone who has come with an offense. Mm -hmm. Look for something softer. Oh, uh, someone says you know, your wife is up or your husband is uh, calling you all names, mm -hmm. and you're like, my dear, this marriage has to work. Mm -hmm. Despite what you have said, this yeah. marriage is working. Mm -hmm. You have to some that. Yeah. <laughs> I am not going, we are not separating, we are not divorcing. Mm -hmm. So that's why the teachings of the word of God yeah. is very important. It mm -hmm. And that's the why the more of the word of God is practiced between yes. a husband and a couple, mm -hmm. the better marriage you get. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, we have not learned and we have not been well taught mm -hmm. that hurting each other mm -hmm. does not make us better. In fact, one of you must be very sober. Ukiona mke ndiye amepanda. Ukiona your wife emotions are volatile. Mm -hmm. You as a man remind yourself mm -hmm. that you need now to know how do you come to this. Hey, me, I even want to go. Even I regret for why I married you. Mm -hmm. I, I was even told by your friends. Mm -hmm. Even your mother told me this. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are told does not matter. Mm -hmm. All what I know is this marriage must work with you. Mm -hmm. With you. Mm -hmm. Who is saying you are going? Mm -hmm. You see now, mm -hmm. you are disarming, you are disarming. But unfortunately, go. So you go back. Can I help you to back? Mm -hmm. Get out. I will go. You go. see that? Mm -hmm. Because we think by doing so, mm -hmm. we are hurting the other person. Not knowing, mm -hmm. you're the one who has spoken those words. Mm -hmm. You will find you have also hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why you find even after you have hurt your partner, mm -hmm. you are left, you know, regretting because those words came out from you. Mm -hmm. But the person who spoke them mm -hmm. is the one who is supposed to suffer. Mm -hmm. From what they they today we are covering a topic, a very crucial topic for any person that is in family, married, or maybe you have a relative that maybe has gone through loss, mm -hmm. either loss of a child, loss of a spouse through death or separation. Maybe you are a person who is recovering from infidelity. You want to re rebuild trust mm -hmm. with your person. Mm -hmm. And that is why we are here as a panel. We want to discuss. We want to see how can you go the stages of recovery and also how you can bounce back to fullness and life again. Thank you very much for always tuning in, Mom. We will allow you and Dad to come just explore and give us all these uh, dimensions of healing. My husband, I know you are here, <laughs> full of energy. Yeah, we are set for this. Yeah, before they come in, I think yes. it, it's very true that after every experience of pain, there's a yes. wound that is left. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. maybe if was a, 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 a wife cheats on a husband or a husband cheats on a wife, mm -hmm. there's a wound that remains. Emotional because, wound. Uh, trust yeah. has been broken. Yes. If I lose a, spa, a husband or a, a, a husband loses a wife, mm -hmm. So always that part of being a widow or a widow, mm. it leaves a wound. Yeah. Or if you lost a child as a couple, yes. how do you heal from that? So that wound, sometimes mm. some people stay with that wound mm. forever. Yeah. Yeah. And and then it becomes like maybe a trauma. Then they begin pouring. They say hurt people, hurt people. Mm. Hurt people, mm. hurt other people. Yeah. So you find that after, before you go into healing, you'll begin hurting other people. You're always a bitter person. Mm. But what can help this person to become the, people, the person he was before? Or to become a normal person. A whole. Yeah, that's why we are here today. So yes, ma'am. Is it possible? I will start directly because mm. I'm so much intrigued. Yes. Most families uh, that have gone many years, at some point, there might have been trust broken somewhere. Mm. So is it possible just to recover from your trust, recover your trust to wholeness, and have a complete healing that it doesn't appear that like anything ever happened. Mm -hmm. Is it possible? Yeah, it is possible. Yes. yes. But uh, it also takes a lot of uh, energy. You must have the right knowledge to guide you. Okay. Yeah, because healing is a process. Okay. Yeah, and we don't know how much a person may go through the process because different people will react differently. Yes. But there is a process. There is always a process of healing. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the reason why most people don't heal mm -hmm. is because they stay at the first stage called denial. Mm -hmm. okay. They are still wondering, I can't believe this. You have someone saying, I can't, and something happened two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. When someone says, I can't believe this, mm -hmm. it means they have never accepted. Mm -hmm. So denial is the worst stage because mm -hmm. the minute you accept, mm -hmm. then everything else, your mind, your emotions, and your will begin to roll on the journey of 
of healing, mm -hmm. the process of healing. But when you stay at denial, yes. you are denying the facts, you are denying the truth mm -hmm. of what happened. Mm -hmm. That's why you find so many people getting deeper and, be and becoming so, so caught up in that situation. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is to accept. Mm -hmm. Acceptance. Yeah, don't, mm -hmm. don't stay in denial. Accept that for true, mm -hmm. your husband, your wife cheated on you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after now you have accepted, mm -hmm. you now begin the journey of healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get that. So maybe, because, maybe just as you continue, mm -hmm. what is the role of this person who is uh, grieving mm -hmm. or the person who is feeling wounded mm -hmm. and the other person also maybe the the, the the role of the other person who caused the issue mm -hmm. i think both of them mm -hmm. because you see if, if for example is cheating mm -hmm. this person who cheated never thought the wife would know mm -hmm. yes or the husband would yeah. know. Mm -hmm. so both of them are actually suffering Mm. Yes. They all, all of them need to go the same process. <laughs> it's not the process Amazing. of one person. Yeah. Both of yeah. them so both of them hurt. To, for them yeah. to heal, mm. they have to go this process of not denying. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find when a couple, or well, let's say for example, a couple is cheating, mm. and you find your wife and she denies, mm -hmm. chances of her repeating the same mistake is very high. Mm -hmm. Because she has not accepted. Okay. You're getting that. So, if so when a person is uh, accepted and takes full responsibility, mm -hmm. that means they are already. That is a, a point of repentance. The yes. journey of repentance. Yeah, already. The, 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 the both of them are both suffering because yes. they also don't know the reaction of the other person. Mm -hmm. So yes. both of them are actually psychologically tortured. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mentally, they are not okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. uh, the, for you to have good mental health, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we always say you draw a line. Mm -hmm. Like the way you draw a line downwards. Yes. So at the top here, mm -hmm. we call it uh, good mental health. Yes. Okay. And then down here, mm -hmm. the end of that line, line mm -hmm. we call it poor mental health. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're getting that. Mm -hmm. So you are either at good <laughs> mental health <laughs> yes. or poor mental health or yes. you're in between. Okay. <laughs> Confused <laughs> mental health. Yeah. And that process, managing. Wow. <laughs> that process yeah. you're getting that. So yes. most of the couples are actually in the process, going downwards. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way that's that's mm -hmm. all human beings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the way we have drawn the line up there, mm -hmm. good mental health, mm -hmm. and the down part poor. here, mm -hmm. poor mental health. Yes. So all most of the couples mm -hmm. and most of the people are within in between that line now. Mm -hmm. no. Going downwards mm -hmm. unless there's intervention. Mm -hmm. Professional intervention or spiritual intervention. Yeah. Wow. You know, when we talk about spiritual intervention, we're not talking of only mm -hmm. prayers only, mm -hmm. but we're also talking about be you being taught the word. Mm -hmm. You having wow. someone who can walk the journey with you yeah. through the scriptures and renewing your mind. Yeah. Wow. So that's the way mental health is. Mm. So the first first part that is actually psychologically affected is the mind. Mm. Wow. Because you can't you can't yeah. you can't have infidelity without your mind. Mm. Your mind must have been involved. Mm -hmm. You must have planned for this. Mm. And that's why we say infidelity is not an accident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. It's not an I just found myself in it. No, you plan about people have it. situation. <laughs> yeah, I tend to no. think that a person can, can have an accident with no, 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 accident. <laughs> accident. <laughs> they you, you they went, went somewhere uh, yes, you know, and they got drunk. Mm -hmm. And you found yourself, you know. Uh, so I think you need to, to, to tell us about <laughs> infidelity. It is a no. pre planned. At the moment, I was drunk. I could not accident. At the I was drunk. I'm I was raped. Even when you are drunk, you you also are drinking so that you you, you ignore you know that yes. consciousness. Yeah. You, yeah. Knew, you knew you knew what is going to happen because yeah. even when you are drinking, you can be able to tell the way the party is going. Mm. I we are yes. going to sex. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You must have yes. put yes. yourself in a situation mm. that creates that. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. that's a challenge that we yes. have now. So yeah. the reason why there is all this psychological torture is because mm. number one, these people, this person has not gone through the process of, of acceptance. Denial. So number one, mm. they are always in denial, and as long as you are in denial, you will never heal mm. because mm. you trusted your husband. 100%, mm -hmm. you trusted your wife 100%. Mm -hmm. So when this person now cheats on you, mm -hmm. you feel no, like you can't take it. Mm -hmm. And also you, tr mm -hmm. you trusted yourself 100%. Yes. yes. Me, I can never cheat on my wife. I can wife. never cheat on my wife. Then you can't cheat on my wife. Then you can't cheat on my wife. Then you can't cheat on my wife.
Because <laughs> until you are caught, yeah. you, you still you are surviving and you are pretending all is well. Yes. When you are caught, yes. that's now when the reality hits on us. I wanted to link a question to what we are discussing. Yes. Oh, one of our person asked here. Uh, okay. uh, uh, question five. Yes. He says that um, there are some stuffs I did in my marriage, uh -huh. uh, which involved cheating on my spouse. Uh -huh. uh, should I face the, my spouse and tell them? I am afraid if I tell them this will be the end of our marriage. I just feel wow. guilty. Please help. So, yes. uh, this person feels the spouse doesn't know. Yes. And maybe living at that way, it's better. Mm -hmm. And also, you see, the, 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 because that guilt of now, mm -hmm. This person doesn't trust themselves. Mm. Again, they are living in that guilty. Mm. They feel saying it will set them free. Again, also they feel that saying it will end their marriage. What should such a person do? Such a person should get a, a counselor, a godly counselor, mm -hmm. yes, to empty out that because it depends with the maturity of your partner. Mm -hmm. And even when you are mature, mm -hmm. there are areas you find yourself weak. Mm -hmm. okay? So we really can't define maturity in marriage. Because yes. I may be mature on the areas of emotional, you know, uh, handling my emotions. Or my finances. may be a problem mm. when it comes to making decisions or vice versa. So yeah. what we call maturity may not be maturity for me. Mm -hmm. I may be weak in that area. So for me, I would say such a person. Mm. Because they are saying, that person is saying, I don't know whether it's a husband or a wife, they are saying, mm. I fear that if I open up, mm. this thing will break my mind. Mm. Then that mm. is what is going to happen. Because the Bible says, whatever you fear, it is what will happen. So what we are fearing <laughs> is what is actually going to happen. So what do you do? Yes. You get someone who is a mentor, mm. someone who is a counselor, who can, you can empty out mm. and then walk the journey of, you know, yes. healing. Yes. With the mentor or with the spouse? With the mentor, yes. with the mentor because now the spouse is not aware. Mm. Oh. And then now have, be accountable to this person. Mm -hmm. So that if you are tempted again sexually, this is the person to call, mm -hmm. to walk the journey with you. You're getting that mm -hmm. so that this person can, you can heal mm -hmm. the reason why he's saying he's feeling guilty is because he has not found a confidant mm -hmm. whom he can open up and if he opens up to the partner maybe the partner may not take it yes. mm -hmm. so i would prefer that if you get a godly counselor yes. someone who is not just a counselor mm -hmm. but someone who is also spiritual isn't that living in secret with your wife? Where you are spouse. Or with your spouse? Well, Should it, people it, confess? It, it, it could be living in secret, but mm. you are living in secret, mm. healing, getting out of it. Oh. But if you are living in secret, you mm. still have the counselor, mm. and you are still going out to cheat, mm. then you are not real. Yes. You are actually faking. Yes. Okay. You are getting so, 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 when, so, when, a, when a spouse got themselves in such a situation, which, what do you advise? Should they confess to their partner? And then they walk the journey of healing it together, depends with the or they deal with it, it on their own. It it if my husband is not mm. is not is a person who struggles with negative information, just mm. a small thing, mm. even the normal circumstances. Mm. Or my wife, if I tell her she breaks down, mm. can even kill someone, can mm. even do this. So yes. you know the emotional uh, yeah. stability of your partner. So mm. you're supposed to assess the situation. Mm -hmm. Don't be moved by the feeling of guilt, because many have been moved by that guilt mm -hmm. and ended up destroying more. Yes. But if they got someone who is a confidant, mm -hmm. whom you are answerable to, mm -hmm. a person whom you also respect and honor, you are able to heal and get out of it. So it can be handled, you can either share with your partner, yes. it can be handled that way. Mm -hmm. If you feel that he or she can be able to manage, to alternatively you mm -hmm. may feel your partner may not be in a position to handle that. Get a confident someone who can walk the journey with you and you heal. Because My last you, question. Because now. you just wanted mm -hmm. someone who can be able to open up. You, you mm -hmm. when, yeah. you, when you open up and you feel that it's not longer now a secret, mm. it relieves you and you get healed. Mm -hmm. So, suppose you open up to a counselor or mm -hmm. a friend or a spiritual mentor mm -hmm. and then one day somewhere along the line, the, those tra uh, trails of, of the past reappears. Either an information or something happens and then the spouse gets to know it. I think in such mm -hmm. a situation, mm -hmm. if I had already shared with my mentor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, and then she comes to know about it. Mm. It will not be a big problem. I'll tell you by the this thing came up, mm. and I knew if I will tell you that thing, mm. I was going to finish our marriage. Okay. So I shared with mom. Mm. Can you go to mom? And then mom will say, by the way, I've I been going with your husband or your wife you for took this period. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your husband has been mm. coming here for, for a period of two years. Mm. So he has been healing from this, has been eating him. Mm. But now he's free. Oh, I think it will be, way yeah, it, yes. it will be, it will be easier that's that way. Mm. Then I keep quiet on that issue in the same way. If I tell her, mm. she'll know, then the marriage 
marriage and then I, do, I don't tell anybody. Mm-hmm. Then years to come something comes up something comes then Pops. she knows because the past can always yeah. resurface mm. oh yes mm. the mm. past mm. always mm. haunts can always resurface mm. but when such things happen it's a sign to tell you there's no openness among the couples mm. when you see there's always a reason why someone cheats yes mm. uh, that they are, it's out of revenge mm. yeah something was done to you and you want to revenge mm. and that one is very common when you feel mm. betrayed mm. yeah human beings because mm. of the selfish uh, nature that we have mm. you feel you Mm. you you if i feel like if i revenge that's the way to remove this pain out of me mm-hmm. but even after revenging you find you have gotten even more deeper yeah. it's yeah. actually a myth mm-hmm. it's not that mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it's mm-hmm. just like i keep telling couples let's say for example mm-hmm. we have a misunderstanding with pastor mm-hmm. and maybe we have now started talking toxic words mm-hmm. you know my mind will tell me mm-hmm. look for another greater hearty <laughs> <laughs> sharper <Yeah>. sharper <laughs> throw it to him mm-hmm. you get the point yes. when i throw to him and yeah and yeah and jaribu kutafuta another sharper at the deeper at the end of the day both of us we have wounded each other we are all bleeding everybody was going deeper go deeper papa that's how most of yeah. the destroy their spouses behave mm. when one does something wrong yes. you want to you something mm. to eat you know <laughs> that are not equal yes. higher yeah. make sure they are happy mm-hmm. and they regret whatever they did <laughs> but i think that's a wrong way it's, it's, it's a wrong regret of, 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 of doing it and they regret and you don't regret it makes you more bitter yeah, yeah. for me yeah. I, i see but, but why, why why does that happen uh, among as pauses because mm. it is so common unakuta mm. kwamba when someone is done something bad eh, mm. instead of looking for a way out mm-hmm. how they can become better and out of the situation yes. they are always looking for something to <laughs> make sure the other person mm. feels the pity the pain mm. I don't know why they're so common. It's because I'm we are, not I think it's because we were not taught yeah. when mm. we were young mm. and that's why it's very important during parenting mm. to wow. deal, to deal with your children and tell them that they should rise above people's opinion. Mm. Any negative opinion and that's what I keep pumping in my children <laughs> every day. Mm. Though it keeps resurfacing. Yeah. I keep telling them mm. you must rise above people's especially mm. negative opinion. Yes. Mm. If someone comes and tells tells you something mm. or shames you or say something maybe even using your 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 accent mm. there's not the things you can't change mm. so you need to rise above them mm. and know that they are entitled to their own opinion mm-hmm. but is this opinion mm-hmm. uh, true to me if it is not true to you discard it mm. so it's because we were not taught mm. how to deal with the negative energies mm. when they come what are we supposed to do so we feel mm. when someone throws you a negative energy mm. get a deeper one mm. a higher one heightened yeah you know, and, and i think this is respond to that this, this we are mostly something of childhood yeah. wrong up bringing mm-hmm. and also being brought up by parents who never also taught us how to deal mm-hmm. with emotions because negative emotions will always come mm-hmm. that's why the word of god is very clear mm-hmm. in the book of uh, luke 17 verse 1 mm-hmm. jesus said something mm-hmm. that offenses will surely come mm-hmm. but oh unto the person who comes with them they will surely come, come. imagine mm-hmm. jesus saying it is impossible not for offenses to come mm. so that means what we need to be ready to handle offenses and mm. how do you disarm someone who has come with an offense mm-hmm. look for something softer or oh, uh, someone says you know your wife is up or your husband is uh, calling you all names mm-hmm. and you're like my dear this marriage has to work mm-hmm. Despite what you have said this yeah. marriage is working. Yeah. You have deserved that. Yeah. <laughs> I am not going we are not separating we are not divorcing. Mm. So that's why the teachings of the word of God yeah. is very important. It mm. comes and that's the why person. the more of the word of God is practiced between yes. a husband and a couple mm. the better marriage you get. Yeah. You see we have not learned and we have not been well taught mm-hmm. that hurting each other mm. does not make us better. In fact one of you must be very sober ukiona mke ndiye amepanda ukiona your wife emotions are volatile mm-hmm. you as a man remind yourself mm-hmm. that you need now to know how do you come to this hey, me, i even want to go even i regret for why i married mm-hmm. you I, i was even told by your friends mm-hmm. even your mother told me this mm-hmm. whatever you are told does not matter mm-hmm. all what i know is 
this marriage must work with you. Mm -hmm. With you. Mm -hmm. Who is saying you are going? Mm -hmm. You see now, wow. mm -hmm. you are disarming, you are disarming. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, go. So you go back. Can I help you to back? Mm -hmm. To get out. I will go. You go. see that? Mm -hmm. Because we think by doing so, mm -hmm. we are hurting the other person. Not knowing, mm -hmm. you're the one who has spoken those words. Mm -hmm. You will find you have also hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why you find even after you have hurt your partner, mm -hmm. you are left, you know, regretting because those words came out from you. Mm -hmm. But the person who spoke them mm -hmm. is the one who's supposed to suffer. Mm -hmm from what they they spoke mm -hmm. but you find we are the people with the person who who was who was talking and planting mm -hmm. on you and you received those words mm -hmm. you begin to reap them mm -hmm. the word of god says whatever a man soweth mm -hmm. he shall reap mm -hmm. you're getting that mm -hmm. that means mm -hmm. if i keep on confessing things that are negative to pastor mm -hmm. but he me keeps on opposing them yes i'm the one to reap that because mm -hmm. I was coming to plant in him. Mm -hmm. He has refused I plant me. Yes. So the word of God will be fulfilled in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who spoke with my words, mm -hmm. with my mouth. So yes. I should reap that. Mm -hmm. But now when he becomes a garden mm -hmm. that I can come with everything and so, mm -hmm. and he receives them, my wife, why have you told me this? Now what, what is all this? Why? Why are you receiving those negative words? You should bounce them to the person who has spoken. Mm -hmm. It's only that we have not been taught. Mm -hmm. It's a very thin line, mm -hmm. but that's the way to deal with issues. Yeah. You must be opposite. Anybody who comes with wow. negative energy, be it a wife or a husband, mm -hmm. the other person must counterattack that mm -hmm. with the positive energy. And that can only come when you are taught. It mm -hmm. doesn't come by just wow. at the naturally you found yourself that wow. way. And I think, oh, I remember when I was struggling with the, the spirit of anger. Mm -hmm. That's why Pastor Moreno was able to disarm me very easily. Mm -hmm. I would come and say, please do what, what, what? I know this thing, Aranyambia, which marriage will not work? Whose marriage? Mm -hmm. Not my marriage. My yeah. marriage must work. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. I'd come with something because I want to threaten him. I want to <laughs> let him know we are not together in this. <laughs> then Aranyangalia, then he would allow me to speak and then tells me, this marriage is generational. Mm. <laughs> you see now? Mm. I've spoken like 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but with only one word, mm -hmm. I feel so devastated. Mm -hmm. So do I go and ask myself, what is wrong? And you are ready to fight back. That, that, yes, I tried to say, mm -hmm. in other words, yes. don't allow the negative part of your spouse, yes. you know, to affect you or to make you, uh, to cause you to make a decision yeah. that you know they are not correct, uh, especially with who you are. Because most of the time, that's where we go wrong. That's where we go wrong. You know, and that's where we mess up most of the yes. time. It's like to say that if I am a thief, you also become a thief. Thank mm -hmm. you. You know, it should not be that but way. You if I'm a liar, you also become a liar. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But I, I think there's a point where by now you should understand eh? mm -hmm. you are supposed to make a decision mm -hmm. that are inconsistent with your nature and who you are. Yes. Like I have made that's up a true. decision mm -hmm. in my life. I will never cheat. Mm -hmm. No matter where I am, mm -hmm. that one I will never do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. She doesn't need to guide me to do that. Yes, that yes. is a personal decision. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. eh? and, and no matter what happened, yes. that one I will never do it. Because I know mm -hmm. cheating mm -hmm. is sin against my own body. Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is mm -hmm. sin against God. Mm -hmm. wow. Number three, it is sin against my generation. Wow. It is so bad. Mm -hmm. It is so bad to cheat. Because you're sitting against yourself, mm -hmm. you are sitting against God, you are sitting against your own generation. generation. So which type of cheating are you talking about? Is it the normal de cheating or sex outside marriage? Sex! Oh, you're tua, talking about tua. sex. Tua, <laughs> tua! <laughs> I, I like, I I like how... how <laughs> so, yeah. so I think that's something yes. that we need to teach our children. Mm. Because even bullying, mm. bullying, cyber bullying, mm. all these things that psychologically affect our children because of mm. you know receiving mm -hmm. the negative energy but suppose you are taught mm. anything negative you have the you have the capacity the way god has created us you have the capacity to allow something and disallow it mm -hmm. i wish we were told that yeah. because we will not have hurt each other yes as many couples have hurt one another mm. with words and actions mm. and you see actions you are the one who is doing them mm -hmm. so at the end of the day that the, the repercussion of them will come back to you mm -hmm. and that's why you find most of these people are so frustrated mm. and when even when you divorce even when you remarry again mm. you still find yourself repeating the same thing because you never learned a lesson from the previous mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. you're getting that mm -hmm. that's a challenge we have mm -hmm. because we have not been well taught and we don't know how the application of normal living 
they mm. should be. I think it's a myth in so many people's mind mm. thinking that if your husband is toxic, mm. jaribu, make sure that you are higher mm. than him or her. Ma- Mom, mm. I have a question. Suppose you've raised a kid so well. Yes. Yeah, you are, the kid is in a positive space and they find a toxic person. Don't you think the toxic people can take advantage of good people? No. They cannot take advantage of good people without your permission. Like, for mm-hmm. example, you say you don't want to retaliate to the patterns. Yes. And that pattern keeps repeating itself. They can. You can be able to overcome that mm-hmm. by you understanding yes. that you are not controlled by what people say. Mm-hmm. The word of God is very clear. Mm-hmm. Yes. The power of life and death yes. is not in my tongue towards you. Uh-huh. It is in my tongue. Mm-hmm. Whatever I say is uh-huh. what is final. Not uh-huh. what another person says yeah. with a different motive. Because yes. I may have a negative motive mm-hmm. towards you and mm-hmm. speak to you words that are negative. Mm. The only thing you are, because I am your senior, mm. you may not answer me back, mm. but in you immediately after I'm done, mm. you say, that is yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see, so I, mm. how do you so, remain in a positive state of mind if you are in a... We have to be taught. Mm. This, this, this episodes are very important. These teachings are very important. We because have. now it makes you know, oh, mm. I'm the one who is in charge of my life. Mm. That's what my the Bible space. says. Mm. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. You shall declare a thing. It's Not true. someone else who speaks yes. a Yes. Mm. It is you it is declare. You, you declare a thing and it is established. And it shall be established yeah. and you shall see the light in that path. Mm. So wow. if you, if, and you shall also see darkness mm. in the same path if you declared mm. darkness. Mm. We must separate people mm. from yourself. Mm. Mm. We should know that in this world God has given us a space. Mm. Every one of us, it doesn't matter how many billions we are. Mm. We have a space of our own. Mm. Yeah. And what controls that space mm. is your words mm. more than people's words. Mm. Wow. And that's why the word of God is clear mm. that a curse without a cause cannot stand. Mm. Because you might get people who are biased, people who hate you for nothing. Mm. You know, people just want to curse you. Mm. But as long as you don't receive mm. it, you, you rebel mm. against those negative words. Mm. They have no space in your space Uh unless you allow them that's very important i think